Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love for Haitian Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make tasso kablit, which is fried goat. If you want to see how I make it, stay tuned. To make tasso kablit, you will need your meat, goat meat, vinegar, bitter orange juice, salt, lime, sour orange. I have kitchen shears and a knife here. When you go to the meat market, you're going to ask for either goat leg or shoulder. Have the butcher clean it up and cut it up into large pieces for you. Do not get cut up goat. That's what you would use if you were making soup, not tasso. I know these pieces may seem like they're big, but the reason is when you cook it, it's gonna reduce. It's gonna reduce to almost nothing. So you wanna make sure you have big pieces to start off with if you really want your tasso to be like good looking. I asked them to clean it for me and they did a really great job. There's not much fat for me to demonstrate how to clean it. So this right here, you don't need it. You could just take it off. So now you want to pour your vinegar on top of your goat meat. Now you want to pour the salt all over the meat. Next, you're going to take your sour orange juice, your bitter orange juice, and you're going to pour that also on top of the meat. So goat meat usually has a really strong unpleasant smell so you really have to clean your goat meat well so you can get rid of that smell so that's why we're putting the vinegar and the um, the sour orange juice and now I'm gonna cut up my lime and my sour orange and I'm going to rub each piece of meat with the the lime and sour orange here I'm just making sure that the liquid gets on the meat mix it in there really well Clean each piece of meat with the lime and sour orange halves. While cleaning the meat, I found some fat so I could demonstrate how to clean it. All you're going to do is cut it off like so. See? Easy. While you clean your meat, you can put your water to boil so that you can shoot it slash parboil your meat. Pour boiled water over goat meat and let it sit for about a minute. Then remove the meat and discard the water. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And if you think this video was informative, please like and share with your friends and family. It really helps me out a lot. So thank you in advance. Now to season our meat. I have salt-free blended herbs, salt, clove powder, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, sour orange juice, ipis, rum, hot pepper, thyme, and parsley. Add the ipis, sour orange juice, rum, and give it a good mix. So now I'm mixing all the dry spices together and add it to the meat and mix. Next, add meat to pot along with liquid, thyme, parsley, and hot pepper. Cover and cook on low heat for about 45 minutes to an hour or until meat is tender. Now I'm not adding any water to cook this as the liquid we have is enough. This will help all that flavor get into the meat. This is what it looks like after about 45 minutes. I'm gonna let it go for another 15 minutes to make it one hour. Now it's time to fry our tasso. Add oil to pot, wait until it's hot, 
add meat and fry for about five to eight minutes or until your desired darkness. I served my tasso with fried plantains, marinade, sauce, and pickles, of course. Of course. <laughs> if you want to see the recipes on how to make marinade, plantains, and pickles, click on the cards above or check the description box below. Now it is time for my favorite part, time to taste. So I'm going to show you my meat. Look at it. like it's so good because of course i tasted it already mm, mm, mm. oh my god let's go for this bon let's go I hope you try and like this recipe. Music is My Wife by King Flunts. Thank you for watching. Bye. Follow us on Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Full recipe can be found at our website, loveforhaitianfood.com. Subscribe to our channel and click here to watch our previous video.